Welcome to this quick start video on the new Olympus Vanta handheld XRF analyzer. In this video, you will see how quick and easy it is to use your Vanta analyzer right out of the case. When you first open the case, you'll find your Vanta analyzer, the AC power adapter, a USB cable, two lithium ion batteries, 10 extra Kapton or Proline windows, depending on the model, a USB drive with product documentation and Vanta desktop software, a micro SD card that is already installed in your analyzer micro SD port, and the Vanta analyzer docking station. On the top of the analyzer, the data port cover protects the Vanta data ports and connections. To open the cover, lift the ring and turn it counterclockwise until the cover releases. From here, you can access the analyzer micro SD port the AC adapter socket, two standard USB connectors, and one mini USB connector. To use the analyzer, insert one of the fully charged batteries. The battery is key to fit in only one direction. If the battery won't easily go in, take it out, rotate it, and try it again. When the battery is inserted correctly, the hinge latches on both sides of the handle lock into place with an audible click. Every Vanta comes with an AC adapter. This can be used to power the analyzer with or without a battery installed in the handle. The AC adapter can also power the docking station to recharge the battery installed in the Vanta and the spare battery in the docking station auxiliary socket. To power the Vanta docking station, plug the AC adapter into the back of the docking station. Place the spare battery in the auxiliary socket. Press the power button on the back of the analyzer to turn it on. The Vanta welcome screen appears. Make sure to read the radiation safety warning. After you've read the radiation safety warning, log in. Tap the leftmost box to display the keypad and enter the password. Below the touchscreen are three buttons. Two of these buttons are used to control the user interface. These buttons are useful when conditions prevent you from touching the screen, like when you're wearing gloves. The leftmost button is the back button. Press this to return to the previous data field in the UI. The center button is the joystick. The joystick moves in four directions, up, down, left, and right. When pressed, the joystick functions as an enter button. The power button is on the far right. Let's discuss proper use of your Vanta XRF analyzer. Before using your analyzer, please review the user manual. Our instruments are safe and dependable when used correctly, so it's important to thoroughly review the user manual to ensure best practices so that you and everyone around you will be safe. When the red light is flashing, x-rays are being emitted. Never point the analyzer at yourself. Never point the analyzer at anyone else. Never place your hand over or near the analyzer window. When you're ready to perform a test, place your sample on a stable surface. To start a test, tap the start button on the screen or pull the trigger. To stop a test, tap the stop button or pull the trigger again. Some users utilize the dead man trigger where the trigger must be pulled for the entire duration of the test. Releasing the trigger stops the test. To activate the dead man trigger, pull down the menu bar and open the safety screen. All Vanta analyzers feature hot swap batteries, so you can change batteries without powering down the analyzer. To swap out the battery, Remove the spent battery and insert a fresh one. A countdown screen shows you the power left in the analyzer, so you know how much time you have to complete the swap. When you are done using your analyzer, press and hold the power button for one second. In the dialog box that appears, tap OK to power off the analyzer. Place your Vanta in the docking station when not in use for safe storage. Vanta analyzers feature simple measurement window replacement without the need for any tools. To change the Kapton or Proline measurement window, 
Turn off the Vanta and then firmly push the release button on the bottom of the snout. Pull the faceplate down slightly from the bottom to release the top of the faceplate from the snout assembly. The faceplate swings down to expose the measurement window. Pull the old window off and replace it with a new one. Rotate the faceplate upward and push in until it clicks into place. To avoid expensive repairs, be careful not to touch the inside of the analyzer or allow dirt or other objects into the analyzer. Thank you for watching this quick start video for the Olympus Vanta XRF analyzer. For more information, please contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.